starting to young. Teach them how to handle a hammer and do work. That's what it's all about, guys. Having your kids help you. Did you get it? Mm -hmm. All right, now we gotta flip it over and go get some carpet out of the attic and put it on the, uh, the bunks. What we did is we shortened it by about 18 inches because this one was on the bow of the boat last year and uh, that's the leftover stuff over there in the corner so basically Zachary help me flip this over you got it okay basically the jet ski sits like this that's what the other one's like and uh, they're bolted in the bottom here really uh, really firmly so what we're going to do now is go get some carpet and put it on this each one of these because this is going to be the, the ski I'm going to keep and this one I don't really care about but uh, it's sitting there nice and neat it's fine but this one's going to be sitting on it for quite a while so I want to make sure that the hole is protected so we'll get a little bit of carpet and staple it on there from the attic I got a lot left over from when we redid this house uh, let me see what else oh yeah I can't get that double trailer in the garage to use my hoist so if you noticed the uh, 700 that was right there is gone the truck is gone what I'm gonna to try to do is I'm gonna to try to take this trailer out and then come back in sideways and then use my cherry picker on the side, lift this up and then we'll move the trailer out from underneath it and then lower it back down. So that's the plan and it'll probably go just like this stupid fence did and it's not gonna work, but you know, that's the plan right now to get it off. And I've gotta get these off today because both these trailers are sold and I've gotta deliver them to the buyer tomorrow. So here we go. Okay, the mount is prepared. We got the carpet on the uh, little bunks and everything, got it reinforced. And I've got the trailer turned around sideways. That was a feat in itself, doing it by myself. But you know, hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. So I've got the uh, jet ski all lined up here. We have a uh, car jack underneath here. So therefore, when I get the jet ski up off the uh, trailer, Zachary is going to jack up the trailer itself and we're just gonna slide it sideways. So that way we get it out from underneath there. and. Uh, I think we're ready to go. I'm gonna rig up these these uh, straps and uh, put on a uh, uh, put rags or little pads up underneath them so it doesn't mess up the rub rails. And, uh, see what we can do. All right, we got it off there with uh, little little problems, but uh, with the legs, it kind of makes it hard to set it straight on your cradle. So what we're gonna do is we're dropped it back down on the uh, on the cradle. We're gonna move the uh, cherry picker, roll this inside, and then adjust it properly with that lift in there still made indentations on the on this rub rail but hopefully they'll they'll kind of rub it they'll come out but uh so far so good so i got half my uh projects done for this weekend um the fence didn't pan out so that's fine it's done and over with but i got two jet skis sitting on their respective little cradles you notice i kept them low to the ground i didn't want the center gravity to be up too high so if i'm rolling over our little transition from the garage here they don't tip over you know from time to time now I've got all the time in the world through the winter to rebuild, uh, really go through and figure out which one I want to use. Um, rebuild each, uh, either one or, or whatever I'm going to do. And um, uh, that way I don't have to rush to figure out what I got. And then this guy can come and uh, deliver the trailers to him tomorrow and uh, collect my money. So that way it's these are out of the way and my homeowners association will quit uh, griping. And then I'll put these two in the back in the garage and I'll put the little 700 back over there because it's registered and everything. So is the boat, so they can't say anything. So anyway, so that's how it goes. It's Sunday about 3.30. I'm tired. I think I'm going to call it a day.